Oh my goodness, look at the treasure we have today. Hey y'all, APG Jamie here. And today brings us hashtag same six Wednesday. And our same six items have been brought to us by Barbara Clark. And I must say, what a beautiful flower. She credited the style to Shannon Green. It is a five petal. It's cut and it's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Look at that. So delicate. I'm not sure what kind of paper it's on, but it feels very delicate. With the card, with an envelope. Envelope, depending on how you pronounce it. We have a whole little fun foam piece of uh, washi tape and this fun background paper. It's an unusual feeling paper. I'm not sure what it is, but I like it. And we're going to uh, glue, aka yes paste, some uh, book, I think it's dictionary page. Yeah, dictionary page. It was a couple of days ago, y'all. Uh, dictionary page to the back of it to make it just a wee bit more sturdy. It's, I don't think it's an unsturdy paper, but it's uh, kind of floppy, I guess is more, more accurate floppy. We're going to make it less floppy by attaching dictionary page to it. And it is a, um, a youngster type dictionary not a kid kid but you know youngster so it's got larger print on it okay and i had already predetermined what i wanted where but you know i turned my paper sideways and i don't know what i'm doing now so there we go we have that and we're flippy flopping around and i will say it because i am using yes paste Wet Yes Paste and wet glue are not friends. I dare you <laughs> to mix them. <laughs> Y'all, don't do it. Okay, so we're squishing it all out, making sure we got good contact and adhesion everywhere, which we do. And then we throw that back behind us on a flat surface. Flattish. <laughs> it's got stuff piled on it. Anyway. While well, we move on and do some other things, such as trim this fun note paper, okay? It says, you got this, and I think it is some sort of a checklist-looking paper, and I like the lines, and I like the little tiny square boxes next to said lines, okay? Now, I'm trimming it up so that it's kind of more uh, even, <laughs> Just eyeballed y'all. Look at that. How perfect did I get it? <laughs> Saving those scraps because they could be usable for something. Except that little tiny sliver right there. It's, yeah. Into the recycle bin it goes. And I'm like, well, we're going to use this. But we got to cut the um, flap off. And that flap does have the lick em, stick em glue on it. Or whatever that stuff is. I don't know what that stuff is. So we trimmed it off. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it on the flap of the envelope. Envelope. Whatever. Uh, because it um, it's a real close mix. And I'm like, well, let's pick a word to put on there. And I picked a word off the top of my head. I don't know what word I picked. We'll find out at some point. So now we're using my favorite... Aileen's original tacky glue to glue this down. Okay. We're going to smoosh it out with a little silicone brush thingy. Mm -hmm. something, something like that. We're going to try to center-ish our word-ish with definition. Okay. And we're just putting it on the one side because only the one side's going to show because we're going to glute the other side down. Okay. Okay, trim it along. Now, I'm not thinking too far ahead, y'all, just in case you were wondering. Were you wondering? Anyway, not thinking too far ahead. 
making sure my pocket's not glued yet. And I thought, well, let's use some washi tape. And I like the one that's got the numbers on it. It's thin, it's tiny, and it's pretty translucent -y. But y'all know I don't trust no washi tape, okay? So we're going to use some art glitter glue because it's in a fine tip bottle. There's no glitter in that glue, okay? I know I say it every time because it's funny in my head, y'all. You just wouldn't believe some of the funny in my head. Maybe you would. I don't know. And then it got twisted out, so I had already cut my finger nickels. Mm. So I have to try to work work that out with a little pokey, pointy tool. I like those pink ones like that, y'all. I picked up a second set. They're from the Dollar Tree, a.k.a. the Dollar 25 Tree. I don't think they changed their name. Just their prices, y'all. Any hoots, and I'm sure I probably say that every time too, and I don't really need to, but again, in my head, because sometimes I have to specify things, you know. My husband calls them all dollar stores. He calls the 99 cent store a dollar store, the Dollar Tree a dollar store, the King Dollar a dollar store, Dollar General, Family Dollar. He calls them all dollar stores. But they're not. Not one of them is a dollar store anymore. Well, maybe the 99 cent store. I haven't been in that one in for a while. In for a while. Anyway. So now we've adhered some washing. We're going to put a little thumb notch. Okay. So I'm getting it perfectly lined up. It's all rulered out according to the eyeballs. And now we're going to ink. And we do a lot of inking on this one. I did my best just to cut out most of the ink. Okay? Okay. So now we have that saying from the note paper that says, you got this. And we're going to put that inside the envelope, envelope, uh, flap. Okay? Now don't forget, it's got some lick em, stick em glue on there. And I'm like, well, I want to get that off just because I want to make sure it doesn't lick them, stick them itself down. As things sometimes do in our humid environment. Okay? So, that's what we're doing. We're wiping it off. Okay. So, yeah. Ink it. Ink it. Now, I leave the card completely as is. I'm just going to let you know from the get-go it is left completely alone. Now I'm trying to decide. See, I thought I had it the way I want it. I'm like, well, where's that going to go? It looks kind of funny, just that. <laughs> oh, y'all. And I'm like, well, we have some more washi tape. So now we're going to stick down some more washi tape. Now, technically, for this uh, hashtag, same six Wednesday, where we each send out the same six items to our fellow artist, which there's a total of six of us, in case you were wondering. Anyway, uh, the, the challenge is to use at least three of the things in a project of our choice. You get bonus points if you use all six, and maybe some extra points if you use some other stuff that came in or on the envelope. Envelope. Anyway, there are no points. <laughs> there are no points, y'all. It's just a fun challenge. And I must say, it is one of my favorites, okay? I'm not that much of a prompt girl, but I do like the challenge of using this stuff, whatever this stuff may be, okay? So, and this is a striped washi, so it's different striper colors. And I'm like, yes. And I thought it was done. Gluten, gluten down a little edge for whatever reason. Oh, we're going to put the uh, one, two, three on there. Because I, I wanted to, I guess. I don't know. Looked like that needed it, I guess. I forgot I even did that. That's how perfect it was. Huh. 
and then we still have blank envelope and I thought well what are we gonna do evidently I'm gonna put the one two three over here too because matchy matchy <sighs> let's drink some coffee Did you enjoy that moment of silence? <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, we're going to put more washi. We're going to put more of that stripy washi. Okay, so that's what we're doing. More washi. So, I could have only used one washi tape. I didn't have to use one of all the washi tape, okay? Because I think I have one that I didn't use at all. I don't know why. Just didn't feel led to use it. Because, you know, I'm kind of an intuitive artist. I just kind of go with what feels right, what looks right in my brain, my heart, my soul. I don't know. I can't explain it. Can't explain it. Um, oh, it's got another twist in it. So, any hootles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They line up, but they don't line up. They match, but they don't be matchy matchy. Trimming off just little tiny bits. So we got just that little bit of war she left. And I'm like, yeah, that's where it's going. Right there, just like that. Perfect. We're gonna glute our pocket down. It was an envelope, and that was one of our six items, y'all. We wore she the envelope, the flower, the note paper. The uh, card and envelope. Envelope. I think I tend to say envelope when when I'm just, you know, hanging out in house and we're talking about envelopes because we often talk about envelopes. <laughs> Not really. Every once in a while one gets toward my husband and says, you got an envelope? And I'm like, yeah, I have an envelope. <laughs> or envelope, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So now we got our flower and I thought we're going to turn it into a paper clip. Now, I get a little backwards with my paper clip. I don't know if you know, but I've been on some medication. <laughs> and things get a little twisty-turny, okay? It's not me. It's my medication, y'all. Mm. So, I, I think I'm doing it right, and I put that on there, and then, then I'm like, wait a minute. That's not quite how I want it. See? That finger goes out like, wait a minute. So I pulled that back off. Now I need another circle. Because I was going to use the um, the peachy color one, but my punch messed up. You didn't see any of that. My punch messed up and chewed that up, so we couldn't use that. So now we're going to use this um, this pink one. It's because it's it is it's pink, y'all. It's a light blush kind of pink. Now we're cooking with <laughs> fire, y'all. So we're going to put our fun foam in between the paper clip tines there. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Because otherwise you can end up with this really wonky, bumpy kind of surface. See, I'm just showing you. It's, see, it's going to work. It's going to be perfect for sure. I hope. And I've got these other circles that I cut just a wee bit smaller. And I uh, put an embossing folder on them, guy. Okay. And uh, I squished it too hard, so I actually kind of cut my paper because I did not mist it with a fine mist, gentle mist of water beforehand, which made it more delicate. And, you know, I squished it too hard, so it kind of cut it. But that's okay. You're not going to notice. Don't notice that part. So we're going to glue with our Aliens Original Tacky Glue, my favorite. We're going to put that on there. Now, this is the back side, so it's not necessarily going to be visible, but it will be visible, which is why I did the embossing to begin with, because I'm like, well, we'll make it just a little fancy with, you know, with the embossing folder and blah, blah, blah. And I thought, well, let's put that washi tape on there, and I thought that looked stupid, and I had previously pulled out some unicorn washi that I thought matched it to colors perfectly, and then I thought it looked like poop, so we didn't use it because we don't want poop on here. Okay? Okay. I need to trim that one just 
slightly smaller on the side you slide onto the paper okay it it helps for that to slide on to the paper when you have just a slight difference between the front and the back either one could be uh shortened just a little bit now we're going to put the fun foam in between the tines on the front part now it's a thinner tine so we got to make our little fun foam uh, smaller. See, I get bonus points for using a fun phone because that was just, you know, a carrier of the war sheet. It was not technically one of the items, but I made it one of the items. Now I'm gluing the second embossed uh, piece of card to the back of the flower just to make it just a wee bit sturdier and easier to glue onto the paperclip circle. Okay, it's an invisible paperclip, y'all. You kind so you, except the one end that's sticking out if you look real hard. So we're going to wait for it, okay, under our acrylic blocks because that tends to be just enough weight for uh, a lot of things. Trimming that wee little bit sticking out. And then we're going to move back to our uh, big, big sheet of paper that's got the houses and the built-ins on it. And we're going to trim up... Um, or dictionary page so that it, everything's all nice and copacetic perfectly straight lines you know perfect is is a relative term we went through that on that series i have you need to hear this which we will plug at this moment it comes out on the last monday of the month we early in the american morning Okay, it's mostly reminders for myself, but I thought other people may like to be reminded too, because sometimes it's stuff you need to hear this. <laughs> okay, so plugged, plugged that. Didn't, had no intentions of doing it, but we did it anyway. So we scooched them scraps away. Take a drink of coffee, because coffee... <laughs> scoreboard because we're going to put a little fold in here and I decided to fold it flip it flop it the opposite direction of my initial intentions why I don't know because I knew it was the opposite of what I initially was going to do but it made more sense to me for it to flip out of the page instead of flipping into the page Although either side would have worked perfectly well. Now, I've been avoiding this, but you see how I have some words written on that background there? Mm -hmm. um, when you're putting a journal together, I suggest you use a pencil, an erasable pencil, if you're going to write on your pages and such, okay? I used an ink pen does not erase and I thought the background color of this hanging file folder because that's what our journals made from a hanging file folder I thought it was perfect for this particular spread so I didn't cover it up so I have the problem of the words which I think say inside back I'm not sure I'm in an editing screen and it's just not that visible to me so, we can't find the washi end. We know there's a washi end because we've already used some, but there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And y'all talk about serendipitous all over the place. All year long, it's just serendipity. I think I want serendipity for my word of the year next year, too forever as a matter of fact look at that teeny teeny tiny piece one teeny tiny number left over we didn't use it anywhere anyway moving on we got that glued on and i thought that needed something on it it's not how i was initially going to use the note paper but you know so how, that's how it goes sometimes because that needed something and we needed to cover up those inky words back there. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's perfect. So, 
put little pencil lines because, you know, you're not going to be able to see them. Ink would have worked for that, but I've already got ink on there I'm trying to cover up. Now, don't worry about the lines being sideways. If, you want, if I want to journal, written journal stuff inside here, I can turn it sideways and it will be perfectly fine. Okay? So now we're gluing our envelope, envelope on, and we are going to make it, guess what, we're going to make it a pocket. I know it's it's an envelope, it's already got a pocket, so it's got a pocket behind it now. And the flap has a pocket on it too. Ha <laughs> ha, y'all, it's got a lot of pockets for one little page. Okay. Now. I thought, well, because we have a pocket, let's put a tag in the pocket for a change instead of just leaving an empty pocket. Well, I will tell you in advance, serendipity happens as we're trimming out said taggage. And I got my ruler out because I'm like, what size should I make it? And I eyeballed at it, and I'm like, yeah, that's an okay size. Yep, let's make it that length. Okay, it'd be, it'd be okay. Yo, it's I don't know how that happens. I really don't. It's just serendipity. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, anyway, I was going to cut the corner. You know how you make the I thought, I've been making that slice in there because I think it looks cool. I thought, no. Let's fold it because let's fold it. No rule. No law about it. I want to use my ribbon slot punch instead of just a regular hole and I want to make it fancy and I was out of that other color paper because I messed that one up I didn't show that part but I messed it up and uh, so we're going to use the same color as the tag but we ink it up so that it looks so that it stands out it's more obvious y'all say inking it up so that it's a little more obvious because we're going to make it, it's going to be a fancy-ish thing it's a reinforcer y'all it's a ribbon slot punch reinforcer because you know i'm the first one to ever think of doing it actually i've been doing it for a while anyway it's not new to me so we're doing that So now we're putting our slot in. We're eyeballing it. Wait, it's stuck. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I need to empty out the little, the little slot bits. We'll save those for something. I don't know what. Well, I could have put them on that tag. Bless my heart, y'all. Sometimes, sometimes I don't think real clearly. Okay. Okay. You can run that little bit. It's hardly perceptible, hardly perceptible, but it made a bit of a difference for me. Okay. All right. Well, let's put that, uh, yeah, let's do that. But we're going to trim it because we're going to trim it. That's what we do. And then we're going to use that little teeny tiny corner rounder, and we're going to round the little corners. Sometimes I round, sometimes I don't. I'm not, um, I'm not pointy, obtrusive, corner-minding person. <laughs> oh, y'all. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, look how good that looks, y'all. Okay. We don't do a whole lot because this is, this is a journaling tag for later on. Because y'all know I don't never go back and journal. Uh, but we make a lot of journaling spots because... One day somebody's going to use them, you know. I don't think these are 100 year items, but they could be. Okay, it's perfect, but I changed it. I decided I'm going to use the, uh, y'all know the little coin envelope flap? I'm like, we're going to use that too. So, so it just kept going. It was like a project that would never end. <coughs> Excuse me. Anywho, I'm trimming it all up because I thought the definition was worthy to be on there. And 
I try it on. I'm like, no, just the word. People could think of what it means to them personally. Now, this is the coin envelope flap. So it's got the lick 'em stick 'em glue on there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, that lick 'em stick 'em must have gotten my throat. Because we've got to lick it off. Actually, we're just going to use the back of a napkin and uh, rub it off. Because that works pretty good, y'all. You could also cover it up with no piece of paper or some such stuff, okay? Because I don't want it to be sticky. I want it to be not sticky so I can glue something on it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Lick them, stick them. So this is our scraps. That's all we have left from that is that... Uh, one piece of washi tape that had musical stuff on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I could have worked it in, but I just decided not to. Ta-da! Here's our page. Look at the paper clip, y'all. See, it slides on. I can use it anywhere I want to. All right. Look at that. It's looking cool. Looking cool. There's a tag in there. We use a little scrap and that last little piece of the stripy washi tape. And our, our uh, greeting card is perfectly the way it was. That's just how it came, y'all. And here's our little fancy tag. And we put a little scrap left over, folded it, and put it in there. Got a little uh, floofal on there. The red floofal that we've used throughout the journal. Well, on other pages and binding. And we're going to slide our paper clip back on there. Ta-da! Ta-da! Photo! Montage. <laughs> Links in the description box to my five fellow artists of this hashtag, Same Six Wednesday, which happens on the third Wednesday of each month through the end of the year. So there we are. Oh, be sure to watch their their videos, like them, kind comment, share them with your friends, subscribe to their channels if you are not already a subscriber. Works for me too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching and happy arting.